Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is another makeup tutorial in collaboration with Mecca for their holiday campaign. As most of you guys would know by now, I am one of the faces of the holiday campaign this year, which I'm still kind of struggling to wrap my head around, but it's super exciting nonetheless. So I'm featuring a bunch of the holiday products in today's video. A lot of them are new to me. So if you would like to see how to achieve this look, and I also do a little bit of a life update, it's a bit bit of a chatty video so if you want to see all of that then just keep watching alrighty so I'm gonna start off with my eyes today because I'm planning on doing like a smoky green kind of eyeshadow look and working with a little bit of glitter as well so I want my base to be as flawless as possible which means we're gonna start with our eyes and do our base last so I've already primed my eyelids with the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer so that comes in the Born to Run vault which is a holiday product currently at Mecca it obviously has the Born to Run palette in it as well which which is what I'm also gonna use for my eyes today. So this is what comes inside the vault. Obviously I've already taken the eyeshadow primer out, but it also comes with an eyeliner, a setting spray, the Born to Run palette, and a mascara and a lipstick as well. So this would honestly make the perfect Christmas present for like a friend or family member that's really into makeup because you kind of get like a lot of product in one set and a lot of good product too. So I'm gonna start off with this palette, obviously. It is such a beautiful palette. I've heard so many good things about this, but this is actually my first time Time using it. So to start off with, I'm going to take the shade Weekender, which is just this really light brownie beige color, and I'm going to run that through my transition. I feel like it has been so long since I've just sat down and chatted to you guys in a video. Life has been crazy, and I'm currently doing Vlogmas, which means my life is even crazier than normal. Um, I'm doing daily vlogs over on my new vlog channel, which I'll have linked down below if you guys haven't seen it already. I haven't really like announced it here on this channel yet. So yeah, I started a new channel just purely for vlogs and I don't know, just like more personal life kind of stuff. It does feel a little bit weird starting a new channel, like starting fresh because obviously like it's taken me so long to get to where I am on this channel now. Um, so starting a brand new channel, I'm like, obviously you don't get as many views and you don't have as many subscribers. It's taking a bit to get going, but I knew that would happen. So yeah, if any of you weren't aware already, my vlog channel is currently up and running. Vlogmas is in full swing. So if you wanna catch up on what's been happening behind the scenes and more of my personal life, then I definitely recommend checking out that. I set up my house the other day to look super, super Christmassy and I vlogged all of that. So it's kind of cool. I love doing Vlogmas for like memory sake. I love going back and watching old vlogs and just like seeing where I was at, like at that point in my life. Um, especially because over the last few years, Ben and I have moved so much and like so much has changed in our life. I think it's really nice to go back and see how far we've come, but I have to admit, <laughs> I always forget how much of a commitment Vlogmas is until I start doing Vlogmas. Like daily vlogs and daily editing and daily uploads is so, so full on. Cause I obviously want to try and keep my other content going as well. Um, but yeah, trying to do that all at once is just, it's just a lot. So things are a bit hectic at the moment, but it's always worth it. It's always so, so worth it. Those shadows are blending out really, really nicely. So like a really subtle transition color, but kind of like the perfect transition color because it is subtle. Alrighty, so next up I'm gonna take the shade Riff and place that in my crease to add a little bit of dimension. What else do I have to update you guys on? So we are hosting Christmas this year, which I'm really excited for. We literally just sold our old, old couch this morning, which was sitting in our rumpus room. And that is where I'm planning on holding Christmas. So now that we've got that rumpus room all clear, I can start like figuring out how I'm gonna set up like the Christmas tables and just stuff like that for Christmas lunch because yeah, I want it to be, I want it to be a good day. We're having my family and Ben's family here. So it's gonna be a packed house, but I mean, that's what Christmas is all about, right? So I'm pretty excited for that. I haven't even like started my Christmas shopping, haven't even really thought about it to be honest. So that's always a last minute thing for me. And then I end up regretting leaving it to the last minute. Story of my life. Those colors are blending really, really nicely together. I think I'm just gonna smoke that shade riff up a little bit more towards my brow bone, just so that when my eyes open, it doesn't kind of disappear because I do have slightly hooded eyes. 
All right, so now I'm gonna take the shade Good As Gone, which is this really deep, dark brown. And I'm gonna run that through my crease even more, but focus most of this onto like the outer third of my eye and kind of blend it into the outer corner. And then as I go, I'm just gonna keep going back in with the brush that I used to blend in Riff. And I'm just gonna use that to diffuse the edges. That is such a dark brown, it's almost a black. This dark brown is a little bit harder to blend. I think it's just like patience because I'm just switching between Riff and Good As Gone and just kind of blending the edges and then building it up more and then blending. I think if I just went in and packed on Good As Gone, it would be almost impossible to blend, but taking it slowly seems to be working. And the good thing about doing your eyes first is that you can be like a little bit messy with the blending. You can kind of smoke it out and blend it out as much as you want and then go back in and clean it up a bit later with foundation and concealer. All right, so I've just finished blending that dark brown on the outer corners. It literally looks black. It is so, so dark and not the easiest color to blend either. Like the browns in the crease, I found them really easy to blend, but this one just seems to be a little bit drier. So now I'm gonna take this gorgeous khaki green shade here, which is called Wonderlust. I'm gonna place that on the outer half of my eyelid and kind of blend it into my outer corner. It's not too bad, it's just very dark. I was kind of hoping it would show up a little bit lighter, but what I might do is layer Oh God, I just dug my finger into it. Good one, Erin. I might layer a bit of this shade here, which is Big Sky, over the top and see if that kind of brightens it a little bit. By the way, sorry if you can hear my computer churning in the background. It sounds like it's about to have a heart attack. Ooh, that looks kind of pretty laid over the top. It's just brightening it up a little bit. There is quite a lot of fallout though. Alrighty, now I'm just gonna go back into a little bit of Riff and just blend those edges again. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the Stila Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in, oh, I nearly dropped it, in the shade La, La, La Duce, La Duce. I have no idea how to say this. <laughs> Mel's sitting in the room with me right now while I'm filming and I even asked her and we don't know. So I'm just gonna call it La Duce. That sounds fancy. It's like a really pretty greeny gold kind of color. So I'm gonna use this on the inner third of my eye and blend it into the green that's currently on my lid. I'm a little bit worried because I had plans for this look to go a lot differently to what it's currently doing. Um, I feel like the green on my lid isn't showing up as like as khaki as I wanted it to, but hopefully this is gonna look okay anyway. I kind of just feel like these greens don't really go that well together. I actually really like that green that's on like the inner third of my eyelid. I really like the color, but I just don't think it matches very well to the green on the outer third. I'm gonna go back into Wonderlust and pick some of that up and then spray a little bit of Fix Plus on my brush. And hopefully, we get a little bit more of that khaki kind of color from it. Can you guys hear that wind outside? It's crazy. It's not usually windy at this time of the year in Brisbane, but over the last couple of days, the weather's just been weird. It's cooled down heaps and it's windy and it's cloudy. Where's summer gone? That's what I wanna know. Who's in charge of the weather at the moment because they're not doing a good job. All right, that green combination is growing on me. The green on the inner corner looks a lot more gold, which I'm not mad about because I was going to use a gold eyeliner as well in this look, so I think it's gonna tie in nicely. It doesn't look bad, it's just not the whole look that I was going for in the beginning, but it's fine. We're gonna work with it. All right, so now I'm gonna cut the crease with some glitter liner, and I'm gonna take the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in the shade Midnight Cowboy. I am obsessed with this stuff, and I have been for like a year. If you guys have been following me for a while, I used to do glitter cut creases with this product 
all the time. Like I literally had to hide this product from myself to stop myself from using it because I found that all of my tutorials were just turning into glitter cut creases. So it's time for this bad boy to come back out and it's time for another glitter cut crease. So the trick with doing this is to try and keep your eyes kind of looking down until the product dries. Otherwise, for me anyway, because I've got slightly hooded eyes, if I look up too fast, it will kind of transfer up onto like the top of my eyelid. Not the top of my eyelid, but like near my brow bone. So I'm gonna look a bit funny while I do this, but it's worth it in the end. Midnight Cowboy never disappoints. So pretty. Alrighty, now I'm just gonna do some winged liner using my Kat Von D tattoo liner. And now for mascara, I'm gonna take my Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. This is one of my favorites at the moment. I only really discovered it a few weeks ago and I've been using it ever since. All right, so now for lashes, I'm gonna take these Huda Beauty lashes in the style Farah. I haven't used these before and they look very dramatic, but I'm in a dramatic mood, so let's give them a whirl. Those lashes are super long, but I actually kind of like how they look with this eyeshadow. It looks really nice, and it's obviously gonna look 10 times better once I finish my base. <laughs> I look a bit funny at the moment. So let's move on to base now. So for my primer, I'm gonna try out this By Terry Brightening CC Serum. You guys know me, anything that says brightening or radiant or luminous or dewy, I'm like, ooh. That sounds like it's for me. So I have never tried anything from By Terry. It's not a brand that I have many products from. So I'm excited to give this a go. It looks very luxury, very pretty. All right, I think I'm just gonna pop like a couple of drops of this. Gosh, is that too much? Who knows? And then just massage it into my skin. It smells kind of soapy, <laughs> which is weird but it's adding a lot of radiance to my skin, wowzers. It's almost like a pearlescent kind of finish to it. Very luminous, very, very luminous. And it does feel really hydrating as well, which is nice. Wow, okay. I kind of like that. And for foundation, I am going to use one of my absolute favorites. This is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I have used this in a bunch of videos. I even used it in my like super specific flawless full coverage foundation routine video. I'll leave that link down below if you guys are interested. But yeah, I've loved this foundation for so, so long. I'm going to actually mix two shades today. I've got the shade Pantagonia and Doville. I'm gonna mix these two because I feel like Doville by itself is gonna be a little bit too pale for me at the moment. And I'm just gonna spray my Beauty Blender with a little bit of Fix Plus just to dampen it a little bit before I go in and blend that foundation. Now that I've finished my eyes, I feel like I can talk to you guys a little bit better. <laughs> I'm always terrible when I'm doing my eyes and like winged liner and stuff. I forget to talk because I'm too busy focusing. But now that I'm onto my base, I feel like I can chat a bit more. So what have I, what have I missed? What's a life update that I've missed? Oh, my dad released a book, which is like super exciting. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably would have seen my Instagram stories about it. Honestly, it's like probably not something that a lot of you guys would be interested in because it's, it's a book about like leadership and business management. So I'll leave a link down below anyway, in case any of you guys are interested, but I'm just very proud of him. I think it's such a cool achievement to like write your own book and get it published and release it to the world. I think that's such a cool, I don't know, a very cool achievement. So I'm very proud of him for that. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my NARS Soft Matte Concealer in the shade Custard and do a little bit of spot concealing. I've got a few breakouts around here that I wanna try and hide a little bit better. I mean, that foundation is super full coverage, but these spots are like raised at the moment, so they need all of the coverage they can get right now.
A lot of you guys have noticed recently that my skin is a lot better than it was. Well, I mean, this time last year, my skin was pretty terrible. So thank you for noticing <laughs> because it is a lot better. Thank gosh, I had so many problems with it for a while there. I honestly don't know the answer. A lot has changed this year in terms of like my diet and I'm not on contraception anymore. So I can't give you like an answer as to what has worked for my skin, but I've also cut out dairy. I don't drink or eat as much dairy as I used to. So all I drink now is really just almond milk. Um, and I feel like that has helped. But like I said, a lot of things changed kind of all at once. And so I haven't been able to pinpoint it. But yeah, I'm very happy with my skin at the moment. I get like a few breakouts here and there, but nothing terrible. So now I'm just gonna go in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla. And I'm gonna use that under my eyes to conceal and brighten. If you couldn't tell, I like love NARS complexion products. Their foundations and concealers and I really like their setting powder as well, but they're like some of my favorite base products. I really, really love them. Alrighty, now to set my under eyes, I'm actually going to bake today, which I don't do often, but because this is going to be like a really full glam look, I want to look as flawless and as bright under my eyes as possible. So I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Master Fix Baking and Brightening Loose Powder. This is like a banana shade, so it's very, very brightening. I'm just going to leave that on for only a couple of minutes because literally any more than a couple of minutes and I end up looking super, super stark under there. For a drugstore powder, this is amazing. So while that bakes away, I'm going to go in with my NARS setting powder in the shade Beach. As you can see, this is very, very loved. I almost need a new one. I'm going to be very sad the day that this runs out. I really love how that brightening CC serum has made my skin look. I really, really like it. Alrighty, so it's been a couple of minutes now, so I'm going to wipe that bake away. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to my brows, but before I do that, I'm just gonna quickly spritz my face with a little bit of Fix Plus so that those powders that I just used have a chance to kind of settle into my skin nicely while I do my eyebrows. So for my brows, I'm gonna use the Benefit Cosmetics Precisely My Brow in the shade three and two. So I use the shade three towards like the outer half of my brow, and then I use the shade two to kind of fade it in at the front. And then I'm just gonna layer a little bit of Benefit Cabrow over my tail because that's where I'm more sparse with my hair. So can you guys see what I mean? It's like a little bit lighter on the tail. So I like to use Cabrow to kind of darken that bit up. And now to set my brows in place, I'm just taking the MAC Brow Set in the shade Begule. Big, big will. I have no idea why do companies use such hard names to pronounce, but I actually really, really love this brow gel because it's got like highlighting shimmery bits in it. I don't know what you'd call it, but it just kind of highlights each brow hair and makes them look a lot more natural and a lot more bushy, which is something that I really struggle with because my brows are very like neat. And sometimes I want that bushier kind of look. So I always go in with this brow gel to make them look a little bit more natural. Okay, so now I'm going to bronze up my face a little bit using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in the shade Nude Bronze Light. They always have such long names. You guys know already by now, you should know, I adore Hourglass products. I absolutely love them. And especially this bronzer, I feel like it's just the most beautiful, natural kind of bronzy color and it kind of adds a little bit of like a glow to your skin as well. All 
All right, so now I'm gonna go into this cute little NARS holiday set. This is called the NARS Little Fetiches. Fetiches? Fetiches. Why can't I say that word? The NARS Little Fetishes set. So it's got a blush and a highlighter in it. They're cute little mini versions of the products, which is absolutely adorable. So the blush is the shade Dolce Vita, and then the highlighter is the shade Capri. So I'm going to use these two products to finish up my base. I actually love this little set because I don't own either of these shades. So again, another little good Christmas gift because you kind of get like two products in one. And the minis are really good for like traveling because they don't take up a lot of space in your makeup bag. That blush is so pretty. And now for the highlighter. I've only ever used one NARS highlighter before and that's Albatross. Is that what it's called? NARS Albatross highlighter. That used to be a fave of mine, but I don't know. I kind of, I guess I just forgot about it and haven't used it for ages. I can see why they put these two shades in the set together because they complement each other really, really well. I'm actually loving how my base looks. I'm really, really digging that By Terry CC Serum. Really, really like it. Alrighty, now I'm just going to finish off my lower lash line. So I'm going to go into the shade Rough first off and just smoke that along my lower lash line. And now I'm just going to take a little bit of the Good As Gone, which is the dark brown shade, and I'm going to tightly line this along my lower lash line. I might just keep this towards the outer corner, though, because it is quite a lot darker. I don't want to make myself look like I've got a bruised under eye. <laughs> and then I'm just going to go into the shade Weekender, which is the original shade that I used in the transition. And I'm going to use that to smoke out my lower lash line even more. And now for my inner corner, I'm going to try out this Givenchy Mystic Glow Powder. This looks stunning in the pan. I did swatch it on my finger before and it comes off quite glittery, but I think it'll look really pretty as like an inner corner highlight. I don't know if I'd necessarily use this as like a face highlight, probably more so an eyeshadow. Can you guys see that? It's just like, it's really pretty, but I think it'd be way too glittery for a face highlight, which it says you can use it as. And I also bring a little bit of that up onto my brow bone for a little bit of brow bone highlight. Alrighty, and now for lips, I'm going to line my lips first off with the... Can you guys hear that wind? Holy moly. Okay, so I'm going to line my lips with the Chi Chi Cosmetics Lip Liner in the shade Centerfold. And then for lipstick, I'm going to take this cute little Too Faced lipstick, which comes in the Peach Tinsel Holiday Set, currently also at Mecca. This little powder here is like a really shimmery, I don't know if it's like necessarily a highlight. You could use it as a highlight, but it would look really, really good as like a body shimmer. So it's got the big poof here that you can use it with, but I'm just going to use the lipstick for today because it's a really, really pretty brownie nude color, which I think is going to suit this look really, really well. The shade is called Sunday Fun Day. But it smells so good. Oh, I kind of just want to eat it. I'm hungry. <laughs> it's a really nice nude. I think what I'm going to do though is put a gloss over the top because it's quite matte. And I don't know. I just, I feel like some glossy lips today. So for a little top coat, I'm going to use the shade Rose Gold from this cute little Kevin Aquan nude pop set. This is another holiday set that is currently at Mecca and it comes with a bunch of different lip products. So I think these two here are like a lip color, like a lip lacquer color almost. And then this one and the one that I'm holding is like a gloss, like a topper. And then this shade on the end here is kind of like a clear, almost holographic, like lip gloss 
extender top art type thing. So you get quite a lot in this little set. Like it's not just glosses, which is what I originally thought, but I am just going to use the gloss for today. I think it's gonna look really pretty over the top of this lip color. It's got a little bit of like a reflect in it. Oh, pretty. That looks so good. They, those two products like layered look amazing. Now I'm going to set all of that in place with my Urban Decay All Nighter Cherry Scented Setting Spray. I've obviously used the All Nighter Setting Spray before, but I haven't used the cherry one. So let's give this a whirl and see how it smells. Can't really smell it. <laughs> Got a little bit of a cherry scent but nothing too crazy. I feel like it kind of smells like those cherry starburst. It smells better than the actual, the normal all nighter because that one smells like lettuce, like honestly smells like a big bowl of lettuce. So that one is a lot more pleasant than the original all nighter. And that is the final look. I am actually really happy with it. The eyes turned out very different to what I was originally planning. I have a little inspo picture below me here on my phone and quite different to what this ended up being, but I actually really, really like it. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, then give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and we are so close to 100,000 subscribers. So if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe because I don't know, I don't think I'm going to hit it before New Year's, but it would be pretty amazing to hit it by New Year's. Like that's a pretty great way to end the year. So yeah, if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below and feel free to turn on post notifications as well because some Sometimes YouTube is a little bit glitchy and doesn't put all of your favorite YouTubers videos in your subscription box. So if you turn on post notifications, you will be notified every single time I upload. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I will see you next time. Bye guys. Delivery. I swear it used to take me like 20 minutes, if not half an hour sometimes to do eyeliner. Yeah, exactly. All right, now for lashes, I'm going to take the Huda Beauty in this, the Huda Beauty. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Is it like a dropper? Uh, not really. It's just like a... No. The wind comes off. What? I did the same thing the other day when I was looking at it. Just like literally just pulled off. Oh, it's a pump. <laughs> and for foundation, I'm gonna use one of my all-time faves. This is the NARS All Day Luminous Foundation. Is that what it's called? Why do I always, nope, that's a different foundation. <laughs> Natural Radiant Longwear. All Day Luminous is their other one. Yeah. Which I also really like. <laughs> and for foundation, I'm gonna use one of my all-time faves. This is the NARS All Day, why do I keep going to say All Day Luminous? It's not all day luminous. And for foundation, I am going to use one of my absolute favorites. This is the NARS. And then I'm just gonna layer, focus, bitch, focus. Can you guys see what I mean? Like it's a little, oh, I pointed up here. How's that for a bronzer helmet? <laughs> and they are cute. Oh gosh, I'm holding one upside down. I'm a mess today. From the Kevin Aquan Nude Pop Collection. And this wind. And now a train. Cool. Hey.